only uh not everyone will enter the kingdom of heaven only the ones who do the will of my father who is in heaven so you as a creation right the creator has a will has a plan for your life then it says many will say to me in that day lord lord have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name done many wonderful works then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. You didn't work my will. Ye work, you worked iniquity. Yeah, you have these big conferences. You, 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 you know what? You, um, you preached, you did this, you did that, you cast out devils. But I didn't know you. We weren't intimate. Because if, if you really knew me and, and, and I knew you, if we had that intimacy, then you would have did my will for your life instead of what you thought you were supposed to do. If you see a lot of people trying to, you know, refute some of the things that I teach, they never address the verses that I bring up. Go look in the history of every debate that I've ever done. They never address the verses that don't, don't match uh, what it is they're talking about. Now, when they give me a verse, I got an answer. I got an explanation for it. But when I bring up verses like this, they'll go to some other verse. And what you got to understand is the Bible does not contradict itself. So if you're trying to use another verse to contradict another scripture, your interpretation is wrong. The Bible flows smooth like butter. Is your faith really on Jesus? Think about that. Unfortunately, many people today claim Christ as Savior. They profess faith in Christ all the while trusting in something else or someone else. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 7 verse 21, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Notice this. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Now, according to Christ, the will of the Father is to believe on the Son. I'll say that again. The will of the Father is to believe on the Son. Jesus said in John chapter 6, verse 40, And this is the will of him that sent me. Don't miss that. This is the Father's will, according to Jesus Christ, that everyone which seeth the Son... Watch this, and what? Believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. With that in mind, let's look back at verse 21 in Matthew chapter 7. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven again, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Jesus makes it clear here that not everyone that calls him Lord not everyone that claims him as savior, not everyone that professes faith in him has done the will of the father, meaning they have not believed in Jesus. They are not trusting in him alone for salvation. They are trusting in something else or someone else. And that is why I put forth this question to you, friend. Is your faith really on Jesus? The word of God says in Ephesians chapter 2, starting off in verse 8, For by grace are ye saved through what? Faith. Notice this. And that not of yourselves. Don't miss that. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. If I told you that I'm going to heaven because I'm a good person, I go to church, I try my best to do that which is right, I obey the commandments, I give to charity, I've repented of my sins. I've been baptized in water. Would you say that my faith is on Jesus and what Jesus did for me, or I'm trusting in myself, what I've done, what I'm doing, what I promise to do in the future? The Bible says in Luke chapter 18, verse 9, And he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Many people are trusting in their behavior rather than the Savior. They are trusting in their own righteousness rather than submitting to the righteousness of God by faith. They are trusting in their works rather than his works. They are trusting in what they've done rather than what he did. Romans 10 verse 3 says this, For they being ignorant of God's righteousness, notice this, and going about to establish their own righteousness 
have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. The unfortunate fate of those who fail to trust in Christ is declared in verses 22 and 23 of Matthew chapter 7. The Bible says this, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, watch this, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful, what? Works. Notice how they appealed to what they did in an attempt to justify themselves before God. They were trusting in their works rather than his works, his death, his burial, his resurrection, the gospel of our salvation. No, they appealed to what? What they did. Have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils. And in thy name done many wonderful what? Works. Salvation is not of works, lest any man should boast. Jesus says in verse 23, And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Standing before God in their own righteousness, the Lord declares, I never knew you. Depart from me. Friend, is your faith really on Jesus?